Hello from Arlington, Texas. We're live inside Globe Life Field. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Kansas City Royals and the Texas Rangers. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Bogan, you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes, but hey, Coming back to win the series has been done before. First pitch coming your way next. Bottom of the first. Now here's the Rangers DH, Andres Quezada. Go for the Rangers. Well, after putting up a nice inning middle. on offense, got Andres. some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. That That's misses the zone. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Here's a one-two. Slow roller to third. Beatty to first. One gone. Bottom half of the first. Batting second. The center fielder. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Now, Gerald Preston. Next offering is foul back. Going two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. There we go, one. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Batting third, the shortstop, Aaron Gill. Eric Gill now at the plate. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They trail things here. 2-0. half of inning number two. Here's the second baseman, Justin Foscue. The, the second baseman, 
Justin. Fuck you. Hey, come on now. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, we got no one. Swings through that one. Ooh, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yep, exactly. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. Boog, for me, that knuckleball was just devastating. I mean, you see that it so big. well, you think you're going to go out there big. and get four knocks, Maximo. and you just swing and miss. And I tell you what, I tried my best to put Tim Wakefield in the Hall of Fame. So we'll see. If he gets there, you know it's because of me. Up next for the Rangers, Maximo Acosta. Good contact guy, good defender. That one's in there, 0 on 1. pitch swings through that and it's a strikeout now two away well he's really dialed in and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm maybe it's square around the bond step out of the box agitate him a little bit do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace it's going to be a long game so you got to figure it out quickly two outs space is empty stepping in Henry Davis Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. In there for strike one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two down, two down. And here it comes. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And they're down to nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now the right fielder, Leading Enos the Sanchez. Rangers, the right fielder, Enos Sanchez. Hey, nobody away. Mac back to work. Right side, Cairo collects, and he takes it himself for the out. Batting eight, the first baseman, Drew Mendoza. Here's Drew Mendoza. In there, and it's on one. guys one down base is empty swing and a miss and that's strike two and down on strikes he goes 
And there's two away. Had him way out in front of the knuckleball there. That thing just floats and dances to the plate. And as a hitter, it kind of feels like it'll never get there. You've got to try to find a way to stay on that back leg and just let it travel as deep as possible. Tough to do, though. Now the left fielder, Ronnie Clarkson. Hey, we got two here. And that's in there for strike one. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Right hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss there. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. here at the ballpark ready to go for the last half of the inning and now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter Andres the Quezada the designated hitter Andres Quezada the wind of the pitch there's a strike You won. Yeah. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, hey, no he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. That's the third. Oh, wow. nice play. Gathers and throws. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Up next to the ring. Wow, singing. No, he showed off years. great reaction time and arm strength on that play. We need to take another look at it. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. I mean, the stat cast numbers are absolutely impressive, but that's one of those plays I appreciate more with the naked eye. The reflexes, top notch. And this guy's a magician with the glove. So next to hit for Texas, Gerald Preston. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And there's a foul ball. now swing and a miss struck him out that's out number two oh there's a three pitch strikeout he can do whatever he wants with the baseball now right now not shortstop Eric Gill Next up for Texas, Eric Gill. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. The wind and the pitch. That's in there. 
The Rangers hitless so far in the game. Next offering is down low. The count is two and one. Two down. Riding to the plate. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Inning over. And the Rangers set down in order. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Justin Foskey. For the Rangers. The, the wind of the pitch. Justin. Slow roll into first. Cairo oh. takes it himself. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now well, he's doing a nice Third job baseman. of keeping the ball Not out of the air. Ball. Lets the defense work behind oh. him with another oh. ground ball. Good execution. Digging in, Maximo Acosta. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because... He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. And the righty deals. Swings through that one for strike two. Hey, come on now. Here we go. On the ground to first. Cairo takes it to the bag. Home man for the fifth inning. Moving along. Two quick outs. The catcher. Henry. David. Two outs, base is empty. Henry Davis getting ready to hit. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. The pitch. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that extends the inning. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. About That's about as right textbook field. as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And here is Drew Mendoza. Davis on second. Sanchez at first. Two out of the inning. Deal two. Rolled over to third. Baden picks it up. The throw to first. And that is the inning. Rangers leave a pair. They trail it here for nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder, Ronnie Clarkson. Up for the Rangers, the left fielder, Ronnie. Matt, Clarkson. back to work. That Ball one in the dirt, there. and it's one to no. Hey, no outs here. Hey, all right, here we go. There's a strike.
The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Good eye right there. Two two now. Fall off foul. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. The batter. So the, the batting order the turns hitter. over. Andres. Next is the designated Andres. hitter, Andres Quezada. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture yeah, that run here. from go. first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Here comes a pitch. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The center fielder, Gerald Preston. And now Gerald Preston, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. in there for strike one at the belt and fires and a foul ball hey let's turn two huh and the right hander deals Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add that's on to that stop. total. And you know, pitchers are looking yeah. to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. And now the shortstop, Eric Gill. And first offering is fouled off. Here we go. Kicks and fires. Fouled off. He was late. Popped up. Flores settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One left for Texas. They're down 4 nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And the batter now, Justin Foscu. Leading off for the Rangers. The second base. And he deals. Justin. And, and that's in for a strike. I'm impressed by the number of go, first fellas. pitch Let's strikes. Go. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. and he struck him out and he's down on strikes for the second time today the up next for the, the Rangers Maximo Acosta. Acosta 
in there and it's on one. On one. And a pitch. Strike two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. That one the other way. Decker pulls it down. That's out number two. Now batting. The catcher. Henry. Get and here's there. the catcher. Henry Davis. Two down now. Hey. That one's in there on one. The why to kick the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Come on, guys. Next pitch is outside. Two down, nobody on. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Rangers go down quickly there. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now here is Enos Sanchez. For the, Rangers, the pitch. The right fielder, Enos Sanchez. And there's a strike. Swings through that. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, hey, moving it around, here. doing what he does. And a pitch. That's off the mark. Now one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Now batting. First baseman, Drew Mendoza. Drew Mendoza stepping in for the Rangers. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hey, we got one. Hey. There's a strike. Oh, and two. Swing and a pop up. Flores should have this one. He makes the grab, and there are two outs. Now batting, left fielder, Ronnie Clarkson. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is Ronnie Clarkson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Plays at one now. Two down now. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Still eight, nothing. And welcome back. And now the DH, Andres Quezada. For the Rangers, the designated hitter, Andres Quezada. <laughs> Got no one out now. Mac back to work. 
out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. These guys have been very aggressive go, early guys. in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient, take some pitches, see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners on. Next offering is in for a strike. Foul ball there. The 0 2. Smash to the left side. Sneaks through, base head. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The center fielder, number eight. So next to hit for Texas, Gerald Preston for the fourth time tonight. Hot shot to third. That's a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan now to be batting. aggressive. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And now, Eric Gill. And first offering is fouled off. pitch swing and that ball smashed on a line he can't get there that should be extra bases one run across cut off now a throw home he beats it safe and they're on the board but lots of ground to make up drove that ball nicely put a great swing on it and it jumped off his bat kind of put it all together there and He's rewarded with the double. And the Royals manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Jay Mack out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Your so the Royals please. bring on a new arm, now Todd Chase. He'll try to strand the runner 32. at second. Todd Chase. Congratulations to the American League champions. These guys have worked hard all season long, and their hard work has paid off. Now, off to the World Series. These guys can't wait to get it started. For my partner, Chris Singleton, and our entire outstanding crew, thank you for watching the American League Championship Series on MLB The Show.